Okay, uh, welcome to my uh, little instructional video on how to put um, the treat bag uh, die cuts together. Uh, here are some samples of ones that I've uh, done. See, the treat bags are just uh, these cute little uh, cellophane bags where you fill them with candy or whatever uh, little things you want to give away. Uh, and then they just, like it says, the treat bag just wraps right around the bag. It's really cute. Okay, uh, the die cut itself comes uh, cut like this, and I have various different inserts, so you can see that I make different shapes uh, with the window that shows off the treat bag. Uh, this one, uh, I put a circle insert. We're going to do a flower and leaves. Okay, uh, it, the, uh, the treat bag wrap comes uh, die cut like this. And it has um, fold lines uh, um, creased on it. And so uh, if um, your die cut has a texture to it, in order to find the crease lines, you probably to find it easier just to turn it to the back and identify the crease lines. Uh, they're here, here, and here. And so what you want to do first, this is the end side, so you want to fold it towards this way. Fold it there. And fold it here. And last, you'll fold this, this flap right here. Okay. Um, so that's how to identify the crease lines. What you'll want to do, uh, probably would be easier in assembly, is before you um, glue it into a 3D form, uh, you'll want to uh, glue on or stick on uh, whatever embellishments you're going to do. And for this one, I chose to do a little flower cut out. So I'm just going to glue that on here. Just like that. And then I have some leaf die cut, so I'm probably going to need to trim the stems a little on these because the stems are a little bit long, so I'll just tear those in half. And then I'll just put a little glue here and a little glue here because the leaf, the tips of the leaves are going to stick off a little at the side. So I have that one and I have this one. Okay. Um, on a few of these, uh, this flap that comes over uh, is embellished with, uh, like this one, I put some brads on there. And this one, I uh, had some printed ribbon, so I put trick-or-treat on there, and then I put the, uh, the two uh, brads there. Um, or you can do like this one and glue it to where the flap is on the inside. And that's what I'm going to do with this flower one. So, um, I prefer on all my 3D paper projects uh, to glue the fold lines uh, with score tape because short of a hot glue gun or something, uh, score tape is the strong adhesive that I've found uh, that I really like working with and it's the best overall economically. Um, terrifically tacky tape is also strong but um, I find it has just about the same strength, and I actually kind of like score tape. I think it's a little bit stronger, um, but it depends on the application. Uh, anyway, so uh, score tape, and I'm just going to glue this. Boy, that one was kind of icky. It's been a long time since I've used that roll. Um, anyway, it works. Um, and so there, I've got a treat bag, wrap, but, uh, treat bag wrap, and all I have to do is load my uh, treats in there. Uh, this would also be fun. You could stamp a little greeting there or something, or tie a ribbon on it around the front right there. That would be very cute. Um, and so for uh, adhering the um, the treat bag, uh, what I'd like to do, if you can see here in the video, but I've got a few strips of score tape there. Uh, you can use score tape. You can use glue dots. Um, just something with a really lot of strength that once you put the um, tree bag in there, it's going to stick on there and hold tight. So that's my uh, preference for sticking the, the, the treats in there. So here we are. Um, and um, there are my treat bags. I have a few Halloween ones. Um, 
like I said, if you see something you like, want me to make a custom kit for you, I sure can. Um, also, you uh, might be able to find some of these uh, or others uh, that you like in my store, and you can purchase those kits too. Thanks. Bye.